Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Chef Allen with you. We're going to be doing cold chilled soups today. Nobody wants to cook in their kitchen, and we're going to make two fabulous chilled soups that will be really helpful for you in your repertoire, and your family would love it, and you will love not having to cook. There's a little bit of prep involved, but it's pretty much a blender soup. The first one we're going to tackle is a cucumber and yogurt soup with dill and parsley, lemon juice, and onions. Very simple and very delicious. Let's get started. So I've got my blender here. I'm gonna put my onions in here and my garlic. I wanna get those at the bottom so that they have the best chance of blending up. Um, I have parsley and dill. Well, those are rough chopped. I'm going to put couple tablespoons of lemon juice. Again, as I say, you can always add it. You can't take it out. But this soup does really well with lemon juice. And especially if you have a yogurt that's not so tart, it's really important to have the lemon juice in there. This is a whole milk yogurt. It's a Faye yogurt. I really love this yogurt. It's a commercially available I've got a cup and a half here, and this is uh, really nice, pretty much my standard yogurt these days. I love cooking with it. I have a lot of cucumbers, so these are rough chopped, as you can see. We're just going to chop them in there. We may have to do a little pulse, and it's really almost too many at the moment, but that's okay. And... Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here. It's about a quarter cup. There we go. I'm going to pulse this a few times to get it going. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of material in here. Just gonna move it around a little bit so I can make sure it gets all incorporated. We'll do this again. Okay, we'll check it out. We want this quite blended. This still has some texture to it. I, I really want to get it pretty smooth because it, it feels much better to, to eat it when it's very smooth. We will twist it in a moment. One more time here. Okay, so we're gonna taste it. We definitely, we have not put any salt or pepper in it yet, but this is definitely gonna need a lot of salt. That's good. I need some more lemon juice. So don't be afraid to add lemon juice. And I'm gonna put a bit of salt in it. I'm gonna start with a teaspoon or so. We'll have a taste of it. One thing that I want to mention is that um, it does want pepper, but you're not going to want to put a black pepper in a white soup or a greenish white soup. So we're going to use a white pepper. So um, I'm only going to put a little bit, a little goes a long way with white pepper. So just blend that one more time. a new spoon that's the right way to do it very nice 
Okay, let's do our next one. Our next soup is going to be a green gazpacho. So it's going to take advantage of some fantastic, again, uh, cucumbers that are just really great and in season. And we're also going to be using kale and cilantro and parsley and basil. So all sorts of wonderful herbs. Green gazpacho is really fun and flexible because you can add some hot peppers if you wish or sweet peppers. It really allows you to mix and match to your own taste. And of course it's different than a tomato gazpacho which you might be more familiar with and we're going to cover that in another video. So this is also another blender soup. Again, uh, involves a, a bit of prep work. I've done all that in advance. I'm putting some water in here to start. And I've got scallions and garlic. Good old garlic. Some oil and sherry vinegar. So I'm putting these liquids on the bottom just so I can easily get everything started when I blend it. This only uses a little bit of yogurt. Again, this is my favorite Greek whole milk yogurt, Faye. I think it's pretty commonly available. And we will put in our cucumbers, quite a few cucumbers here. Uh, I should say that I have in both of these soups that I'm doing here today, I have peeled my cucumbers. Um, sometimes the uh, farmer cucumbers that are available have a little bit of a bitter skin to them. So I test the skin and uh, decide whether it's good enough to use. This is parsley and cilantro. We've got a lot to jam in here. Here's our kale basil leaves. If you made the soup in the winter and didn't have fresh local cucumbers, I would use English cucumbers. And in that case, I would not peel them because those have pretty nice skins, but you know, test it. Again, it's a lot easier to test it beforehand and uh, take that skin off. All right, so we have quite a lot in here. We'll see how it goes. Good thing I put that liquid on the bottom. All right. All right, it's having fun there. I am gonna just stir things up a bit, make sure we're, we're good, get everything caught up. And you could also add a little um, like chipotle pepper to this. If you don't have a fresh pepper, you can just give it a little bit of kick with a dried pepper. Okay. So this one, I think I'm going to leave it uh, with, a, with a bit of texture to it. It's almost a little bit of a chewy soup. Um, but that's the nature of a gazpacho. It, it has a lot of texture to it. And um, you will see in my uh, tomato gazpacho that there are uh, ways to do it in a blender and there's also ways to do it uh, fully hand chopped. I'm going to add a bit of salt. Again, these soups, because we're using veggies, do take quite a bit of salt. So I put a little bit more than a teaspoon in here to start. Let's give it another quick whirl. Now we'll taste it. We wanna make sure that we don't overdo it, but we definitely need a fair amount of salt in these soups. It's perfect. It'll actually taste a little better when it's very cold. And that's the nice thing about these soups. You wanna chill them for a while, let the flavors all meld together, and then serve them after they're nice and cold. Here we have our two finished products. We've got our chilled cucumber soup and our green gazpacho. They both look really pretty. I'm garnishing my cucumber with a little cut up red onion and a little finely diced cucumber. 
and I'm going to just dribble a tiny bit of olive oil on top just to make it look pretty. And you could put some dill sprigs on the top as well. But isn't that nice? Thanks for joining me for this tutorial video on chilled soups and I hope you'll get a chance to try them and keep your kitchen cool this summer. Come back next time for two versions of tomato gazpacho. They're so good. We'll see you next time. Bon appetit! I hope you enjoyed this segment of chilled soups and come back for the gazpacho, other gazpachos. Whoa. Okay. Don't make me laugh. I hope you enjoyed this. <clears throat> go away, go away. Please come back the next time and we'll be doing 